Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the set concept and then we have seen uh, the basic operations on sets. Now in this session, let's have a look on implementation of these sets and the basic operations performed on sets. So let us take uh, one set. So a set is a collection of elements separated by a comma and enclosed in between curly braces. And uh, the one important thing regarding these sets is set does not allow the duplications. So if there are any duplications in the set, it will be automatically removed. So let us create one set 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 right. So print the same you can get the set that means enclosed in between the curly braces. Let us take a one more set t is equal to 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 right print t right so now we are having two sets and from these two sets we can uh, perform the basic operations first of all length so to find the length of the set the one method is len of s automatically we can get the length of the set the number of elements in the set then the second operation is how to add an element to the existing set. So for that we have seen add method s dot l s dot add some element 5 so that 5 will be added if you print yes you can observe that 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 fifth element I mean the element 5 is added to the existing set yes. So there is a one more thing if you want to add more number of elements at a time we can use s dot update of t. So here we have to pass the set as an argument, subset as an argument. Now all the elements which are available in set t will be added to set s. So let us see s yes dot update t. Now print s. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here 3, 4, 5, uh, sorry 3, 4, 5, all these 3 are common for both set set s and set t so it avoids the duplication and it, it, it prints only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right hope you understood this one add update now how to remove the element s dot remove so if you write s dot remove you uh, uh, the element will be removed from the set s yes. if you write t dot remove the element will be remo removed from set t 7 so if you print s yes, you can observe the 7 is missing in the set or if you try to remove any other element which is not existed in the set it will return the key error right so if you want if you try to remove the element which is not the not belongs to that particular set then automatically it will reduce some key error right so uh, next one is discard this is a, this method is also used to remove the element see i am removing the element 6 so i am printing here so 1 2 3 4 5 here also if you are trying to remove the element by using the discard method which is not available in the list it does not return any error that is the main difference between the remove uh, and discard. So if you want to if you are trying to delete an element which is not which does not belongs to that particular set by using the remove command then you will get an error that is a key error if the if you are trying to delete an element which belongs to the say the set uh, using discard method you will not get any other error right so that is the difference between remove and discard now pop yes dot pop so here this function will always delete the first element in the list 
and it will return the element which has been deleted from the set now s dot pop so it returns one as a result here one means this function removes the element one from the set yes so if you print yes you you, you can't find the element one because one is deleted by using the pop method so another one s dot clear this function will clear all the elements in the from the set that means removing all the elements at a time so if you print this yes you will get empty empty set hope you understood this one this is a empty set right next let us create uh, the set right now max of yes it will return the maximum element available in set so 4 is the maximum element so it will be returned similarly minimum of yes it will return the minimum element present in the set next sum of yes so it will return the total sum of all the elements in the set see sum of yes returns the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so that is 10 so these are the general operations in order to insert or remove the elements from the list now let us see some more operations important operations that is first one is is subset so let us take here 1 comma 2 3 next t is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 see first one is is subset is subset of t this means it will return true if t is a subset of s that means every element of sorry sorry s yes is subset of t if every element of s yes is presented in t yes s is s consists of 1 2 3 and t consists of 1 2 3 4 5 6 so every element of s yes is available in t so s yes is a subset of t and the one more way to represent is s yes less than or equal to t this is also a subset right next superset is superset of t the reverse of subset that is every element of t should be presented in set s yes. so here it will return false because t consists of six elements and s consists of only three elements so it will return false so one one more way to implement this one is yes greater than or equal to t right next union s yes dot union of t it will combine both the sets s and t so if you print yes you will get only 1 2 3 if you print t you will get only 1 2 3 4 5 6 so a new set is created but it, it, it is not saved so you can assign some value or variable to that particular union so that if you print this result the union of s and t will be printed right so for union you can use s or t s or t is a union right next intersection s dot intersection of t now intersection means the common elements in both s and t so what are whatever the elements which are presented in both s and t will be written so s consists of 1 2 3 t consists of 1 2 3 4 5 6 so there 1 2 3 elements are common in both set s and t so it will be written so the representation we can represent is s and t again it will return 1 2 3 right next difference s dot difference of t simply the elements in s minus the elements in t so it will return an empty set because s consists of only 1 2 3 t consists of 4 5 6 so s dot difference t that means s minus t it will give empty set if you write t minus s so there are three more elements in t so it will be those will be written 4 5 and 6 that means which are not common in both s and t will be returned 
so common elements will be discarded right if you write s yes dot difference s yes minus t will be performed if you write t minus s yes, t elements will be performed i mean uh, right next symmetric difference now it will return all the elements of s and t except the common elements so coming to the previous one difference will return only elements of one set except the common element but here symmetric difference means it will return the common elements i mean it will return all the elements in both the sets except the common elements so before writing this let us take that one s is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and t is equal to 4 5 6 7 eight, 9 so let us take this one now see s yes, dot symmetric difference symmetric difference of t that means the new set will be getting both the elements of s and t which are not common so here s consists of in s and t sets 4 5 6 elements are common so the result will be all the elements except the common element that means 1 2 3 7 8 and 9 hope you understood this one symmetric difference so every element will be printed except the common elements next the last one is sorted so automatically we can sort all the elements by using a single method called sorted method so let us take this one 3 1 2 6 5 7 4 okay so let us take this is a set print this now apply the sort sorted of yes automatically it will return all the elements in sorted order the list of all the elements in sorted order right so uh, as i said that these sets will remove the duplications so let us explain that one s is equal to 1 2 t is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so if you perform this s yes, union t it will combine both the elements of s and t but here it will only displace 1 2 3 4 5 6 because 1 2 3 is duplicated if you combine this both s and t 1 2 3 are duplicated so 1 2 3 will be uh, the duplicates will be ignored right so all these are the different operations performed on sets so hope you understood this uh, sets concept so if you are having any doubts regarding this set operations feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts if you really understood my sessions Uh, like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much